Okay, we are going to start by wrapping the wreath form with tinsel. So I've chosen gold tinsel, but you can do um, silver or any of the brightly colored tinsel. Uh, they also make just the wreaths with like greenery already on them, and I think you could probably use that fine just as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We've got our hot glue gun over here heating up. And let's see. Okay, it's good. Um, this is a silicone craft mat. You can get them on Amazon or probably at the craft store, but the hot glue will just peel off of it really easily, and it's going to catch any glue blobs while the glue gun is sitting out so that we don't get it on the desk. So I recommend getting one of those. Okay, this is a 14-inch um, breathe form. And we're just going to start this here and hold it and make a few turns. And this is going to be the back side. Since I started with the glue over here, um, we're going to make this the back, which is fine because we can just flip it over, put a little glue on. that through the glue. Okay, we can pull the tail through. One more time. Okay. All right, let's make another two or three turns of it, and then we'll do another little blob of glue. holds pretty well um, from wrapping it, especially if you wrap it tightly. And so like these aren't glued down, but you know, they don't wiggle too much. So I think we're good. All right. I am going to go ahead and finish wrapping this and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that the wreath is fully covered, um, we used one and then just a little bit of the second 15 foot garland. You wanna make sure you get the thick fluffy garland. Um, they have the thinner, stringier stuff and you'll be able to see the difference uh, when you're at the store looking at them, but definitely go with the thicker um, tinsel garland. Otherwise, it just doesn't fill in and you'll need a whole lot more of it. So the 15 foot was fine, it covered more over half of it and then we still have a ton left over. Um, we just have to finish up the last maybe third with the second um, row of it. So it's time to start with the ornaments. Um, we're gonna start filling the outside first, and then from there, we're gonna fill in the front and the sides. Uh, but for this, I'm gonna like, use the large ones. We're gonna go all the way around the outside. Um, I think it's probably gonna take anywhere from 75 to you know 90 um, ornaments total, depending on the size of them, to fill in. Uh, the entire outside and the inside of the wreath, so it's full. So I'm gonna get to gluing, um, and you can stick around and wait. So we're just gonna blob the glue on really good. And press and hold for a few seconds. Um, this is the extra strong Gorilla Glue but it is gonna take a minute of holding to make sure it sticks and that the glue's in the right position. Okay, now that we have the wreath completely covered on the outside, it's time to start filling in uh, on top. I'm not going to actually fill in the middle ring. Um, some tutorials will have you do that, but I don't think that you necessarily need to, and I think it adds bulk to the wreath. So what we're going to do is just start 
filling in the top layer. Um, I have some different shaped ornaments. As well as the standard ones. So we're going to get to filling in and gluing. And then once we get a good layer down, uh, we'll go ahead and start with some of the really small, tiny baubles to fill in the remaining spots. So let's get started. All right, we're nearing the end. We've done the outer row, we've done the middle row, and then we've started to do the inside portion before we fill in the tiny baubles. So we're down to not a whole lot of ornaments left. And for this, we're gonna go ahead and lay out the pattern so that we know what comes next. We don't want too many of the same color right beside each other. So we're gonna kind of try to lay this out. Uh, we have far more of the bright pinks than anything else. So we're gonna try to spread those with another, another color in between each of them. So we've kind of got a pattern here where they're broken up at least a little bit with the light pink and the gold and the green. And so we're gonna glue those in. Um, but I am gonna talk you through this because there's a little bit of a learning curve. I found that works best if you just glob the glue down into the wreath form. And then you're gonna press the ornament onto it and hold tightly. And as you're pulling the glue gun away, um, you're just going to tuck the string in between two of the other ornaments and it'll break off really easily, especially with this silicone mat. So you're just going to hold the ornament there for a second. Um, I've only gotten burned once, just minor. It's not even visible. So not too bad. Nothing too bad there. We're going to keep moving along. Again, you're just going to lob the glue. down into the wreath onto the tinsel and you're going to press and hold really hard against the wreath form because we want it to both attach to the tinsel and to the wreath form. And this is Gorilla Glue. It's really sticky. It's the Ultra Craft Glue. Um, so it does work well. But we want to do our best to get a good bond so that it'll stay. We're getting close to the end here. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the last two or three, and then we're gonna go and fill in the little tiny baubles. Okay, and tuck some of those in here that have um, like a sleigh or a car or a pickle ornament or, you know, the vintage kind of ornaments that are unique and different than just the round colorful baubles. Um, but for now, let's get started on these little ones. All right, when you're down to the little ones, it's mostly gonna be gluing um, ornament to ornament rather than to the tinsel. So this will be a little more challenging because you'll need to get the spacing right for it to make contact with all of them. Uh, if you don't put the glue high enough or low enough, it's not going to make contact. So, oh, sorry, I'm dropping things here. All right, um, so you can line the ornaments with the glue and then press down the little bauble until it makes contact. Seems a good way. It's very forgiving. Okay. And the shatterproof ornaments, uh, the glue will pick off of them if you have little tiny glue strings. You can either just give it a little tiny roll 
or just pull and the glue strings will come off. So. Not a lot of blue, so let's fill that in. Okay. There's also a tiny gap behind it, so we're going to fill that in as well. It's really strong glue. You could probably